Welcome to Zemchem. Now today's video is on nucleophilic substitution at saturated carbon part 4 video and here we are going to deal with effect of leaving group on nucleofugacity. Now before starting already 3 videos are uploaded in channel you can watch it. I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video. And if you are new to Zemchem do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Now first let us start. Now what do we mean by nucleofugacity? So before starting with nucleofugacity, we need to know that what is nucleofuge. So the leaving group in a substrate is also called or known as nucleofuge. And the ability of these leaving groups or nucleofuge to leave the substrate in a reaction is called nucleofugality or nucleofugacity. And you have to always understand that since there is a breakage of bond, when the leaving group leaves the substrate, so if we try to alter the type of leaving group, the nucleofugality also differs. And as a result of this, the rate of reaction both in case of SN1 and SN2 reaction gets altered. Because this breaking of bond step is involved in the slow rate determining step for both SN1 as well as SN2 reaction. Now whenever a nucleofuge is going out, it should be stabilized. That is the thing which is out of the molecule when it is uniquely separate from the molecule, it should be stabilized. Then only we can say that the leaving group is better leaving group. And it can also be a poor base. If it is a poor base, then we can say that it is a better leaving group. So better leaving group is stable and or a poor base. Similarly, we must also consider another thing for the leaving group. That is the strength of the bond between the carbon and the leaving group. So that bond should be taken in regard. If that bond is weaker, then the leaving group is better leaving group. Because it can easily get out from the substrate. Right? Now we will see an example of a good leaving group. Now if you consider here our I, R, B, R, R, C, L and R, F. From here only we can conclude that I minus is better or good leaving group. Why this is so? Because it is bulkier in size and the negative charge is dispersed throughout. As a result, when it leaves the R, I, it becomes stabilized on its own. Whereas the C, I bond is the weakest among the following series. So we can Finally, write like this, that is reactivity during nucleophilic substitution via SN1 or SN2 decreases from Ri to RBr to RCl to RF. Now, from here only, we can also conclude that I- minus is a good nucleophile because of its high polarizability and greater softness. Now, what is this softness and hardness? If you want to see about this, then a video is uploaded on channel about the acids and bases, hard and soft acids and bases. I will give the link in the description box as well as the Iverton present above this video. Now, due to its softness, it can be easily polarized. As a result, it is a good nucleophile. Combination of above two factors makes this act as a nucleophilic catalyst. That is, it is best leaving group as well as it is good nucleophile. So, let us take an example. Suppose if we consider a reaction where it is involved OH- is a nucleophile plus RCl. RCl. Now we have aqueous alkali and also heat and the reaction goes on slow to produce ROH plus Cl- minus. So OH is replacing Cl minus. This is actually a slow reaction. But when we add I minus in it as a catalyst, nucleophilic catalyst, this reaction undergoes fastness. That is the rate increases. Here in the presence of I minus, the reaction follows a different mechanism. So what happens? Let us see. If we consider here the reaction, I minus being a good nucleophile attacks RCl from the backside. So here the attack takes place and the Cl 
minus gets away. Next what happens is that we have now in our reaction medium Ri. Here we have OH minus and we know that I minus is good leaving group. So OH minus now attacks and I minus gets away. This finally results in the product. So there is two step reaction. Here one SN2 is taking place which is fast in nature. Whereas in the next step also another SN2 is taking place which is also is fast in nature. So as a result we get back I minus which is also a good leaving group. Right. So here we have seen the application of I minus being best leaving group as well as good nucleophile. Right. And if we try to draw the graph of it. So this is our reaction coordinate and this is our energy axis. So when there was no like this is reactant, this is product. When there was absence of I minus the reaction was taking place like this. But when I minus is being given, then the reaction follows an intermediate path like this and finally comes here. So the energy of activation becomes less and this position is intermediate, right? And this occurs in presence of I minus. So we had seen one application of best leaving group. Now we will see different kinds of more leaving groups. Some oxo acids are highly stabilized through resonance and they after leaving from a compound become stabilized. So we can conclude that these anions of some oxo acids are better leaving groups. First is triflate. See here there is SO3- and CF3. If the CF3 is substituted by a methyl group then it is known as mesylate. This will be L-A-T-E. M-E-S-Y-L-A-T-E. -E. Right? Now we will see the next one. That is, if this CH3 is being substituted by OCH3, it becomes methyl sulfate. Next one is CF2, whole 3, CF3. This is non-aflate. Next is substitution by a toluene, so tosylate. Another one is presence of bromobenzene, so brosylate. And the last one is nosylate, because there is a substitution with nitrobenzene. So thus, these are always taken as good living group. So often, when we try to form methyl ester, dimethyl sulfate, or any kind of ester of paratoluene sulfuric acid, then we use these as methylating agent, because this can be easily obtained. So let us see some examples of these reactions. Suppose we take some of the phenolic compound like this, OH, right? And we are reacting it with NaOH CH3I to methylate it, right? So we need CH3I, aqueous CH3, CH2, OH. So the product will be this one. This same thing and there will be OCH3. Another way to do this is if we do it like this by adding NaOH, heat and we take OCH3, S double bond O, S double bond O and O minus. Right? This is methyl sulfate. So this will give again the same product. And the last if we take, if we again take sodium hydroxide and heat it. Along with OCH3, S double bond O, double bond O and we have here a toluene moiety, CH3. This can also be used to form this methylation. Right. Now next example is that to carry out the nucleophilic substitution on carbonyl carbon of an alcohol, it is often converted to tocyl group or a halide. So why this is so? We have no that see here whenever if we use alcohol then alcohol being a strong base and a poorer leaving group never leaves the compound as a result 
the targeted complex can never be obtained. So we usually convert those alcohols to tosyl group or halide group so that it becomes an easy leaving group. As a result, reaction can take place. Okay. Now we see another example. We can understand that among the halides, I minus halide is the good leaving group because of its bulkier size and the negative charge which has been dispersed and thus stabilized. We also know that anions of oxoacids are highly stabilized through resonance and they are good leaving group. And the last thing is that water is a poorer base than OH minus. So it is a better leaving group than OH minus. Last thing which is we should know that is a better leaving group is a poor base and the relative fugality of different leaving groups differ from substrate to substrate from one mechanistic course to another. In one mechanism one leaving group can be very effective whereas in the different mechanism the same leaving group can be non-effective may not leave the substrate. Now we see an example where relative rates for solvolysis of this compound having different leaving groups are given. So from here only we can see the rate is much higher in case of this triflate. Whereas the rate becomes least for this acetate group and these also. Right. So from different reactions we can get a little bit idea about the different reaction rates and its rate of leaving group. But this data changes from reaction to reaction, mechanism to mechanism. Now we will discuss another good leaving group which is nitrogen attached to the alkyl group in diazonium salts and these diazonium salts can be easily obtained and the ions can readily be accessed via nitrosation of the corresponding primary amines. So how this occurs see? Here we have our NH2 and if we add NaNO2 and hydrogen plus low temperature then we get our N2 plus. Another way to generate it is from diazoalkins. So diazoalkins looks like this. Here is a negative charge on carbon and here is a N2 moiety. There is a triple bond and if we add proton in the form of acid then we get this diazonium salts. So this is another method to obtain this. Diazonium cations are very stable and readily decompose with loss of nitrogen. How does it do it? If we have like this, there is three bonds and nitrogen here, then this bond is given up and this plus charge is being satisfied. We have N2 plus R plus and a nucleophile comes satisfies the R plus charge to provide us our NU. Another way to convert an amino group into a good leaving group is its treatment with pyrarium salt where the counter ion acts as a nucleophile. See here we have our NH2 and we add a pyrarium salt like this. Okay, it looks like this and it has phenyl group here, phenyl group here and the phenyl group here, right? And the oxygen is positive in charge and a counter ion Y minus is present. This Y minus can be any kind of nucleophile, I minus, Br minus, Cl minus, F minus, CH3COO minus, N3 minus, NHR2 and H minus. So when we react it, we obtain this type of moiety where this oxygen is being substituted by nitrogen of the amine. So here we have R, here we have pH, here we have another pH, here bonds are present as it was previously and Y minus is present. Now we heat it. So when we heat it, we get R combines with Y and this compound is being obtained. Nitrogen present in the ring and the 3 pH. This becomes neutral. 
and this is an easy method of nucleophilic substitution right so these were the different effects of nucleophilic substitution over the leaving groups and hope i have covered all the things now in the next video i will tell you about the effect of solvent so this much for today hope this was helpful thank you for watching do not forget to like share subscribe and comment